you know, I thought, you know, they came out hungry. Um, you know, they we had some really good looks and didn't get the puck on net, so I think the shots might have been a little more lopsided than they were, but I thought they outplayed us at the beginning, and I actually thought the second period, you know, we started to take control of the game and just kind of oh, couldn't get that extra bounce tonight. But I just love this. I love the team, man. I just love that uh, we don't give up ever. It's a good sign. Uh, it's hard to say right now. I'm going to obviously talk to you guys the next couple of days, and I'll probably have a better answer. But hard fought game, hard fought series. Uh, you know, we're a bounce away. You know, it's. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. Talk how to much of that push? push? What's that? That late push. Talk to us about how. What does, what does that say about this team? Well, we've done it all year. Uh, like I said, sometimes you get them to go in, sometimes you don't. And, um, you know, they. You know, I just tip your cap to the Oilers, man. They came out. They played hard. They blocked a lot of shots today. Everyone, you know, we had a couple chances early that they got in front of, and a couple late that they got in front of. And you know, that, you know, and, uh, we knew it was going to be a long, hard-fought series. And I think that it coming down to the end like that was a. We weren't really surprised. And you have to play a big game. Was you, and how much of that was them? S- sorry, that one more time. The first period, it, most of it was played in your end. How much of that was what they did versus what you did? They just won some more battles. Made some. They executed a little better. Got off to a faster start. So, you know, that's on us. But I thought our. It's so hard to play with the lead in the league. I feel like you see it all the time. Teams are coming back, and I think there's just a level of desperation and also there's something about sitting back a little too much. You know, I'm sure that they're going to watch and probably say they don't want to sit back that much moving forward, you know, but it's a hard fucking. game. I know uh, you have to play the game with the players you've got, but how tough was it to not have Brock out there? Really yeah, it's not. I don't feel sorry for us. I feel sorry for him. You know, he's worked his ass off all, all year long and had a career year, and how far he's come as a player since I've got here. Being out there blocking shots with the goalie pulled, uh, that type of player now, and for him not to be out there today must suck for him. And I, I feel for him. And um, you know, it's not about us right now. It's about being there for him, I guess, in the situation. Are you able to take satisfaction in the journey here, or is it going to take time? Uh, right now, it sucks, but uh, like I said at the exit meeting, I'll probably have a better answer for you. But right now, it just sucks when you're that close and. Uh, we had four four minutes to even tie it up. I mean, yeah, yeah, just really, just we had we had a lot of balls here. Played a lot of resiliency, and we've come back a lot of times. And and uh, for the game men like that is, I think, a r- good representation. I know we didn't win, but representation of how our what the culture we're trying to build here. Was your shot on net? The one uh, I hit shot. somebody's foot. The last one there. Yeah. And so, oh, was it? It, was, it hit Joshua, I think. Was it? It was going at the middle. Uh, yeah, it was at the middle of the net for sure. Um, I didn't really try to place it. I just tried to shoot it quickly and. When he found me, it was a fast pass, too. I thought we were going to get a look, but I think that's just the bounce, something like that, that we needed. Two more, what, please. What, two more. What did this crowd mean to you all playoff long in the very first game of the game seven today? Well, you know, tell you what, it hit me emotionally at the end of the game when they're cheering, or cheering for us and clapping for us when you walk down the President's Club. And it's uh, when you see that, you know, you're in a good place at a good market, and it's just the beginning of hopefully really good things here in the future. You've got playoff experience in the past. What do you think this run and this experience will mean for some of the younger guys on this team that haven't had that experience? Yeah, I mean, you guys asked me before. you got to go through it, and um, I still I still mean that. And I think that so many players, so many of our core players, learned a lot what it takes and, um, and what it, the emotion of the building and how it can swing so quickly. And I'm sure even right now their, their hunger to get back here already is going to be there. And I just, you know, I think we have a good thing going here, and I just believe that we're going to be a good hockey team and we're going to have another opportunity at this. 